live from the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. I'm coming to you from a condominium complex known as Maui Kai. Over the years I've called it the boat because it's so close to the ocean, <laughs> you might as well be on a boat. <laughs> ah. I could just sit here and just listen to the sound of the crashing waves and just lull out for about forever. And that's honestly the reason why you buy an oceanfront condo is because the intimacy with the ocean. And West Maui offers more condos right on the water than I think maybe anywhere else in Hawaii. And also, did you know that Maui has the most access to sandy beaches than anywhere else in Hawaii? But before we get too deep into the live this evening, I just want to acknowledge that it is Good Friday. For all of uh, you Christians, and I'm a Christian, obviously it's the, uh, the somberest day of the year for us as we acknowledge the, uh, the death of Jesus on the cross. And so try to take it a little bit easy on Good Friday, try not to do too much, but it is technically a work day, of course. So, And I also thought this little Maui fix might help brighten your spirits a little bit. I think there is a heaviness that we all experience on this day, in my opinion, spiritually speaking. So at any rate, if you're feeling it, let me know. I am definitely for sure. But um, I try to, you know, we, we are overcomers, right? We overcome. So, but uh, Easter is right around the corner and we get to celebrate, obviously, uh, the greatest event in the history of mankind. So didn't want to uh, not acknowledge that. And also, it is Aloha Friday still, so we do have sort of a dichotomy there. Good Friday, Aloha Friday. But more, more than anything, I want to continue to acknowledge what happened here on August 8th of last year. And I recently was given access to the town and have been shooting some videos, updating you with what's actually what it looks like, doing some walking tours, some driving tours. I went to Maria Lanakea Church yesterday. I went to the school. I showed what is going on at the banyan trees. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, I decided not to do those live. I wanted to record them in the best quality possible. And so please check those out. Please continue to support the channel by subscribing. The shadow ban is real. My subscribers go down every day by massive numbers, which is weird. Because let's face it, man, it's just, it's Maui. I mean, this is where it's happening, just in case you don't know. This is and always will be like the happening spot, and you know it. When you come here on vacation, you tell your friends, hey man, guess where I just was, or guess where I'm going. This is where it's happening, right here. So don't forget, that's why they attacked this place. They want it bad. But they're not going to win. Dang it. So anyway, you know, when I do these lives, I, I have no agenda. I really, truly don't. I just want to share what I'm experiencing. I just want to speak from the heart. and. Um, I just did it for fun, and it turned into kind of a cool, um, you know, aloha-infused audience that I've uh, amassed over the, over the years, and I just want to thank you guys, because you truly are, without a doubt, without a question, without a single question whatsoever, aloha-infused audience on planet Earth, period. And I have so many people that reach out to me and say, man... Your audience did this, they did this, they gave here, they gave there. It was the Thanksgiving dinners, it was the Christmas presents, it was the everything, man. You guys are just amazing. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, truly, for being like the most awesome, most supportive, most positive, most loving. Yeah, we get the occasional hater. I get it. You know what? They just get, they get banned. It's okay. You got to take the good with the bad is how I look at it. So at any rate, I'm going to turn the camera around. Enough about... Whatever I was talking about. Oh yeah, what's going on with the condo market? Let's talk real quick. Let's have a little quick. Whoa, let's have a quick. I can't figure out where the button is. Maui Dan, where's the button? Okay. Oh yeah. Wait. This is the condo. I'm selling this condo. I will put a link in the description. It's amazing. Look at it. I was going to show it to you a little bit later, actually, but uh, for right now, check it out. This one, by the way, is a Maui condo enclosed lanai. Because you get the best of both worlds. You get all this extra square footage but you still get like the lanai thing that opens up. <laughs> I was hoping we'd find some whales. I'd hoping we'd get a little blowout with the, with the, but it's Good Friday, so I think we're just gonna fade to black today. What do you think? 
but we could get a whale. We have a little bit of surf, right? So if I was halfway smart, I'd be out licking my wounds on a wave right now, but that's okay. That's all right. It's just a Maui fix is what it is at this point in time. Condo market strong, prices are going up, median, average, the whole nine yards. Get it while it's, get, get a condo before the interest rates go down again. And people are going crazy berserk buying real estate. So now there's a small kind lull, so you might as well take advantage of it. And uh, yes, Maui Kai is definitely a fan favorite because of its ridiculous proximity to the ocean. What? I mean, I could fish from right here. I could almost do a suicide off this thing. I mean, that's a jump, right? That's the thing they call, <laughs> I wouldn't, that sounded weird. Hey, I'm never gonna commit suicide, all right? Just FYI. It's a jump that the kids do here in Hawaii. You could almost do a bomb, almost, not quite. Although I bet there's a few kids from Lahaina Luna that would send this all day long. But I wouldn't. But anyway, obviously right in the middle of Sunset Alley, which is what I call it, to the south there we have the beautiful island of Lanai. And to the right over here, to the north, we have the beautiful island of Molokai. And in the middle is actually Oahu. You just can't see it because the earth, I'm sorry guys, is round. <laughs> I hate to tell you that. It actually does curve because if it didn't, you'd see Oahu. And I've tried. I have tried. I have tried. You cannot see Oahu. Although the island of Molokai is kind of in the way, I will admit, but you'd at least see something, but you can see nothing because the earth is not flat. I know, I kind of wished it was, but I did a lot of tests out here, by the way. I really did, man. I, this is a great place to do it, man. 15 miles, right, from my house to that island. From my house and 400 feet up, I can see everything. Get down to the ocean, drop 400 feet. I can see houses that are 400 feet up, but I can't see what I can see at my house. Anyway, probably preaching the choir on that one. But uh, this is, of course, the beautiful island of Molokai. And we're actually looking directly almost at Kanaka Kai. Right there, you can't see it right now, but uh, at night, on a perfect night, when the lights are right, you can actually see the boats at Kanakakai Harbor, the little light on top of the uh, mast. So yeah, not too much going on here tonight, man. Just a beautiful, beautiful evening. The weather has been amazing. It's just been a great, um, you know, end of the winter. We've got some great swells and... Uh, it's just been fantastic. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick Maui fix. And um, just so you know, someone did call me today. This is interesting. And maybe there's a CPA out there that can talk to me about this real quick. Obviously, we know tax season is coming up. God help us all. Um, but anyway, <laughs> tax season's here and the deadline's coming up. And uh, this guy called me today and said there's a, there's a provision with the IRS that's been around since like for hundreds of years for disaster relief that came from when people got their goods stolen from the pirates. And if they lost complete all their stuff, they did not have to pay taxes for the previous year. It actually reverts one year and then you can carry it forward for seven. And he goes, it's the most unknown aspect of the IRS tax code. I know there's some CPAs out there watching. He sent me a link. I'm going to do my research on it. But he said no one talks about this. No one knows about it. He says that everybody in Lahaina that lost their home, that lost disastrous levels of everything, can actually file under the IRS code and get money back from the previous year's filing and seven years moving forward. So anyway, I'm just thought I'd drop that out there. Someone might know something about that and can share it with me. But I'm going to start doing my research. I'm going to put some links in the description of this email. But I want to start getting the word out for people that are going to file their taxes in Lahaina and on Maui that lost everything and need to know about this little tax provision. So I will share that. I'm just putting it out there in the, in the ether because I want every, everything that we do should add value and help people. So this is something that I came across today, talked to the guy for like, I don't know, 40 minutes and seemed very, very sharp. So I will put a link in the description of this video after I hang up. Before I hang up, before I hang up, before I sign off, yes, I... Let's do a quick walk around the condo, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so here we are. Yes, sir. Um, this is a beautiful studio. Like I said, I will put a link in the description. There are one bedrooms at Maui Kai, but not many. 
I think there's like two two bedrooms, but most of them are these studio units. And this one was, of course, remodeled. As you can see, this area was an enclosed lanai, and it has this beautiful wood kind of ceiling. But as you can see, this adds a whole bunch of extra square footage right there. So you've got this beautiful seating area, and that's where I've been, obviously. The windows and the screen doors slide open. Those are obviously added. Those are aftermarket, so to speak. Then you have this giant king-size bed. Now, some of these units have these Murphy beds, which is all right, I suppose, but I don't know about you. I'd rather sleep on a legit like king-size mattress that's all pillowed out and whatnot. And you can tell it's got sort of the nice Tommy Bahama style condo furniture, which believe it or not, is pretty darn expensive. Of course, everything on Maui is expensive. And then you have a nice little dinette, little dining area right there. Kitchen's got some granite. We've got a little bit of old school tile right here. Could maybe update that at some point in time. But uh, kind of your standard condo stove. It is a full size dishwasher. Nice little hot point condo fridge right there. Then, because we get so much trade wind activity, these condos actually have like this breezeway door. So you can close that, so you have some nice protection from that wind. And then, when the wind is good, obviously, but this is central AC, you've got this nice uh, um, remodeled, tiled-in um, shower. And then, you have a little granite countertop cabinet and a little commode back in there. And there is locking owner's closets over here to the right. So at any rate, you know, guys, I've always said I have the most Aloha-infused audience on planet Earth. And I thank you guys for trusting me with your properties to sell them. I don't take that lightly. Thank you. And, of course, for all you buyers out there that have reached out over the years and have bought homes, condos, and land for me, I super appreciate that as well. So I, I don't take that lightly, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate it because that is what keeps the kids fed the boys in college of course we got to get them out in the workforce here pretty soon don't you worry all right boys giddy up let's go time to kick them out of the nest but uh, having three kids in college at the exact same time I don't know if any of you have ever had the pleasure of experiencing that little uh, financial situation but that's a uh, that's a good woo. yeah that'll wake you up that'll keep you going that'll keep you working so gets me out of bed every morning 5 a.m. <laughs> But just a Maui fix for you guys. Just a little, straight from the heart, straight from Maui, on Good Friday, waves crashing, aloha flowing, Easter is coming, Jesus is on the throne all the time. Pray for Lahaina. Let those who are responsible for that tragic event be held accountable, and they shall pay, I do believe. We'll get to the bottom of it all eventually. In the end, truth always comes out. Praise God. All right, guys. Well, until next time, I shall return. I don't know where. I don't know when. But I can tell you one thing right now. It will be from the most beautiful place on planet Earth, in my humble opinion. And yes, I love the Maui gyms. <laughs> I just do, man. I just love it. That's why I wear them, man. JJ, Maui gym guy. JJ, I want you on the channel, bro. The number one guy from, the number one account rep for all of Hawaii is a guy named JJ. He sells these to all these accounts here on Maui. He's a great guy. I met him at the spa a few, uh, a few years ago, and unfortunately, he lost his home in the fire. He lost most of his clients in the fire, but the corporate guys from Maui Gym flew all the way out here. It's now owned by the Italians. They flew all the way out here. They're taking pretty good care of him, man. So, JJ, much aloha to you, but the number one Maui Gym guy, I got the connection. And uh, he's a great guy, and uh, we actually did help him out from the uh, Lahaina Fire Fund. So we don't, we don't talk a lot about all the beautiful giving that we've done, because you know what, you're not supposed to really do that. But uh, I can tell you one thing, we've helped a ton of people, and I thank you guys for that. I owe it all to you, and uh, we're going to keep doing good. All right, until next time, I shall return, I promise you. And Maui Dan, I can't see the screen, but I'm thinking about you and your Aunt Marceline. She's amazing, getting to know her very, very well. Will be a new listing coming on the market really soon at Alialoa. Did I say it right, Maui Dan? Or is it? <laughs> Just yeah. Alialoa, uh, ala, 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 <laughs> I can never say it right, dude. But it's a leasehold and it's epic and it's going to come on the market soon. So get ready, Marcelite. We're going all the way to 
success land. Thanks to all you people out there. So thanks, Maui Dan. Appreciate the referral, my friend. You're the best. Till next time, Eric West. Out. I'm just going to sit here and listen to this, man. That's nice. I don't want to go, man. I just want to hang out. Just kidding. I'll let you go. <laughs> I, met a, I, met, I didn't meet. I saw an agent the other day here on Maui. She's like, Eric, I want you to know I, I love your YouTube channel, but the videos are too long. I, I can't watch them. They're just too long. <laughs> like, it's okay. It's all right. You don't have to watch them. Hey, man, if Joe Rogan go like three hours and like smoke weed and talk whatever, then we can do 20 minutes, right? And I bring you Maui. Joe Rogan's got Austin, Texas. I mean, come on. Texas. Of course, I am Texan, so I do love Texas, but let's just face it. He ain't got that, baby. He does not have that. <laughs>